zero. Okay, so um, I've been working with Ed on this. He is probably not going to be here tonight. He is so, not. So um, there he are any questions? He knew you had yeah. it under control. We've been working together on it. So, um, just so you know, we are in this new finance system that we're working through, and the budget has to be categorized in different ways according to um, the system. So you'll see. Oh, so the change this year is the K-12 location-wide option now. Yeah. Right. That's and what made it different from last year. Yeah, and so. things got shuffled around based on positions, mm -hmm. so it was complicated. <coughs> I think I've shared it in a way that isn't too complicated <laughs> for everyone. Um, but those sub-pay, tuition reimbursements, they've all been broken out under the correct categories. So we've worked to, to do that. Okay. So these are just our current um, numbers for you of students. Those are next year's numbers or these are your current These are the numbers, current right. enrollment numbers. Linda's working on pre-K numbers for me um, now. I don't have those hmm. yet. Um, these are the high school numbers. I think I shared these with you. Um, Linda did clarify we do have 17 students graduating from Hanover High School this year out of wow. the 36 graduating mm -hmm. yeah, seniors. Part of what's There's yeah, some savings there. That's yeah. These are the position, the kind of larger additions to the budget, the SRO position, increase in the music, um, part-time music teacher from 0.4 to 0.6, a request for STEAM materials to support this program, behavioral interventionist, the dual enrollment bus, a teacher slash interventionist position, and additional nurse services. So those are kind of the ones that stand What's out. What's a dual enrollment? The That's the algebra oh, bus. Okay. We, we call algebra it dual bus. enrollment. Yes. Um, okay. And we, we did talk about seeing how well that goes this year and potentially adding Spanish. We've talked about a foreign language next, next year. So, possibly. So, would the cost go up or would just all the same kids would be on this bus? They'd just be same the same bus. kids. Same yeah. bus. Yeah. It, it, it would be scheduling, figuring out that kind of the thing. The schedule, yeah. right. And if the teacher's willing. Right? And you have foreign language, but it would be the same sort of theory that you. you the student would be able to transcript Spanish the high school one. credit and, that and start. So it would be for kids who are kind of advanced yes. exactly. in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, yeah. and, and did we look at all at doing things electronically? Um, uh, you know, with um, the current algebra class? Yeah. We talked about it. We yeah. haven't done it yet. No, we um, haven't done it yet. No. But we should probably think about practicing we, that just to see if it works. Yeah, we yeah. have for help and that sort of stuff, but not in any great detail. Yeah, just yeah. Um, I yeah. would. It's not just the cost, right? Um, no, because that's a pretty reasonable. It's a, yeah, yeah. Cost. but it's more yeah. the um, the time that the kids are traveling and that right. kind of stuff. Yeah, it, yeah, and it just opens up all kinds of possibilities for right. like one kid taking, you know, eleventh grade English if they're really, if they really you know, or and to. you can. Right. I mean, you could do some really interesting things. I think. Yeah. 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 So what, the what's the what's the um, enrollment for the actual class? Right now, what's the not um, the enrollment, the cost? Nothing. There's no just cost. the bus, right? It's in yeah. winter because it's all Cause the same. Because the 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 there's capacity right. in that class. Yeah, yeah they had capacity. If there wasn't capacity. Yeah. It I think Windsor have worked, also looks at it as a little yeah. bit of a yeah. recruiting <laughs> mechanism, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, they yeah. Yeah. they figure, hey, over the next couple of years, if we can get some of the high high achievers, yeah, you know, excited. And those kids are having positive. So they've donated. They've donated though. Okay. They're doing really well. It's working. It's great. Very smoothly. Yeah. So, so yeah. far, so yeah. good. The behavior yeah. interventionist, how, is that a full-time position? Mm -hmm. It is. It's split. Um, it's with HCRS, so it's a... Oh, okay. So that's... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, yep. Yeah, <laughs> it's partly Medicaid-funded, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Um, so this is um, a breakdown of... So I've broken down each category. Ed ran the object codes, I think he called it. So this um, is a total... The total budget for wages. wages, and you've got the budgeted amount for FY19, the actual amount, of course the budgeted amount for this year, we don't know where we're going to land exactly, and then this, um, the, the uh, budget for next year. This includes um, that music position that we talked about, and an additional teacher salary, and I did increase the substitute line based on where we <laughs> land in our substitute line. Okay. So we're yeah. going over in that We're area. going way over. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
course I can't see my notes because they're under here. We, the FY19 actual was $37,000, $97. So we we're hopeful that we can decrease that a little bit. So we budgeted for $34,500 for, for FY21. That's a pos I mean, that's a position. Mm -hmm. Yep. Without benefits, but that's a mm -hmm. yeah. that's a sub a permanent sub position. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and just so you know, Ed has budgeted for an increase in wages, but because they're in negotiations, that's subject to change. But he did he did budget for that, so that's included in that. Um, I guess I was thinking the the sub it's the size of the position, but there's multiple subs needed on one day, which is not on other days. Yeah, I mean, some districts hire a full-time sub. Yeah, from like <coughs> October to May, um, but you, but you would be paying benefits. benefits. Benefits, right? And that's one person, and sometimes more right. short, four people. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and right. you're 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 you are addressing it somewhat in negotiations. Yes, attend the attendance issue. Attendance yeah. issue. Okay. Um, total benefits. This reflects a 12.9 percent increase in the premium costs. So you'll see a. A jump. But this is nothing we have control over. This right. is nothing we have control over. Almost $100,000 yep. over the last year's yep. budget. Yep. Um, and that, by the way, is also subject to change because sure. the state's negotiating right. that. Right. that. When will we know that? Benefits package. We, 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 we had hoped to know it. November 15th was when it was supposed to go to the arbitrator. They've got till December 15th. To, we'll know by mid December. Okay. Yep. It could get better, it could it get could worse. It could get better, it could get worse. worse yeah. I mean, but and costs are up for everybody, yeah. so yeah. I, I yeah. don't see it going down it's not right. probably no. not a bad. lot. I, right. Health care is more expensive. Right. Um, total contracted services, this includes that the resource officer position, which is why you see a jump, um, that behavioral interventionist, the nurse support, and um, we did add $3,000 for the, um, at the request of the Acceptance and Understanding Committee, which is working on equity. This year, they're bringing in um, a consultant from Seed the Way to, to lead two half-day professional development um, sessions here at Heartland on equity, which is a really um, important thing that we need to do. So I fully support that work. Mm -hmm. And what's the, to, su to supplement the EPSD, what is that for that? Yeah, that's, um, you missed that. Um, the nurses and guidance counselors now have to, they get emails and they do time stamps and they have to, I've never seen what they do, but I see the emails. Yeah. They have to report they have to what, talk they're about what they're doing at the moment minute. in time and that generates funds. Through and Medicaid. Through Medicaid and at the end of the year, we all sit down together and negotiate how we're going to use those funds. And the EPSD <laughs> right. stands for Early Preven Prevention and Screening and something or other. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that Medicaid goes to pay for that. But the problem is that pot's getting s smaller and smaller. Oh, so yeah, and we, we like may to do have other been getting 10000 or something in the past. And exactly. Now, now we might get less. Yeah. yeah. I think and we got got six this year. I think you got yeah. about six. And, and there are other things that the schools like to do with that. Like we, that's how we fund the tooth tutor, and that's how we fund some early prevention screening for right. kids. Mm -hmm. yep. But this nursing, the nurses really seem to think they need that little bit of time every week to just either do some health work or proactive work, group work. Teach some health class. Paperwork, yeah. It's In the lower grades, hopefully, eventually, when our nurse is up to speed. So yeah, that's I'm what that is. <coughs> Sorry, my voice isn't working today, but the resource officer, is that in line with um, the estimates from last June and mm -hmm. July? Yeah, we're yeah. paying a portion. Yeah. Windsor's paying Windsor a larger portion. Windsor pays about 45, portion. you pay 35. And, and really, it's not like a three-day, two-day. I mean, he's here almost every day. Every day. For a period of time, and we he's call at Windsor him every day for a period. Of time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just for seems things. to be that kind of guy, and you do call him regularly. Yeah, nothing. I mean, nothing, it's, it's not always major, crisis, but right. major. Yeah. But like, yeah. hey, just can you help us out with this? Could you talk to this yeah. kid? Right. Yeah. We yeah. have had some families um, request that he have some conversations with their children. And oh, great. wow! Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. Which has been great. Um, mm -hmm. He yeah. helped us with our last staff meeting. We did some emergency training drills. He came and helped facilitate those, so he's been he's been super helpful. He's a great guy too. Mm -hmm. Just happens to be great. so much of it is mm -hmm. the person, right? Whoever's doing the job, and he just happens to be yeah. good at what he does. And I did email you. He did get that training. That, um, yeah, yeah, he, he did. did email. Right. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Okay. <coughs> um, <laughs> maintenance and repairs down a little bit. I actually don't have much to do with this budget. This is an Ed. Um, Ed and Jim work. And Jim that. work. Yeah. 
um, transportation is up is up um, a little bit, and that does include that dual enrollment figure. Uh, and a new bus contract, so that could change a little bit too, right? Because oh. this is the last year of our contract, so we ma we mailed out the okay. bids to right. like three or four companies. We, we okay. should know by December, early January. Yeah. Um, this is total energy, and I asked uh, <laughs> originally. I was like, Ed, you can talk about this, but he's not here, <laughs> so I have notes. He said in FY19 we budgeted a dollar ninety nine per gallon, but the price was actually two thirty eight. Ah. So we spent more than we anticipated, uh, which was a thirty eight percent increase in the price of oil. For FY20 we budgeted two oh five. For FY21 we budgeted two seventeen, and he said in FY19 this was also increased because. It, we were 10%, um, uh, the temperature was 10% colder. Colder, colder. Yeah. Was cold. Okay. So that's why that is increased. Um, <coughs> total equipment is down, and you'll see uh, a reduction from 19 to 20, and that is because that was technology equipment that's now in the SU budget. We do, however, need a new laminator and shredder. I which support the shredder for yeah. sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Three thousand dollars. I had to use it the other day, and I yeah spent an extended period of time fighting it. Yeah, <laughs> this type of equipment doesn't cover um, kitchen equipment or anything like that. No, not to my knowledge. No. What well, it, it could. It actually, it could. could. I guess, yeah. yeah. I mean, but okay. and, and I know that <laughs> Ed met with Craig, and, you know, to see what the needs were. And yeah. I just know Craig and But I think he's got that. To be honest with you, no, it would yeah. not be in this budget. It would be in the food service equipment yeah. budget. Yeah. Right. Okay. Because that's not part of the general fund. But is that. So you'll see, like, if I hand out that budget tonight to look at, I mean, you'll see there's an equipment line there. Okay. In the food one? <laughs> in the food budget. Okay. okay, so. And that's in a separate fund account. Yep. Okay. Uh, it'll show up up here. Um, Heartland has a separate food budget that's not in the general fund. Okay. But you subsidize the food program out of the general fund. Right. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, communication insurance postage budget went down just a little bit. We're trying to um, not mail if we don't have to. We saved a little bit on the printing of the town report, I think, because not over budgeted for that. The S total SU assessment is up. Um, by about sixty-five thousand, and I don't know if you want to speak to that. I haven't well, no, those just meetings. that just that it was actually better than we had thought originally because when you start expending the kinds of special mm -hmm. ed money we're expending, you generate that much more revenue from the state. Mm -hmm. And Ed, Ed's, Ed's estimates, you know, because the truth is, with the increase in IEPs that we've had, even just let's say in this building alone, and and the staff that's required to handle those IEPs. Not to mention the out of district placements, because we've we've run these numbers and we could run them for Hartland. We ran them for Weathersfield last year. It would, I'm sure, it would exceed that sixty-five thousand yeah. dollar increase. I mean, yeah. I think the fact that we're sharing these costs across mm -hmm. the SU and able to move people around a little bit it does make a difference. Mm -hmm. Even though it's going up still, I wish, you know, I wish we could contain that cost, but. I thought it would be worse than this, quite frankly. I, as I did too. I was actually surprised that it wasn't a larger cost. Um, here's that supply budget. I, Tina's um, specifics are listed and how much they cost. We did decrease. I wanted to try to offset it, so we decreased five thousand dollars in general supplies, and we eliminated twelve hundred dollars. There was a tech tech ed line, which we're not really teaching tech ed right now to kind of offset a little bit of it. She had um, in the library budget last year um, $7,750. So it's really an increase of fourteen four that we've tried to reduce in other places. And a lot of this is a one-time need, Some of right? it, um, yeah, there are some, like the steam supplies she'll right. need to replace. Um, there, there is a subscription. I think it's the MakerBot that is a per student Per year. Cost that she has to pay, yeah, per year. Okay. And the laser cutter is a one time cost. Right. The cricket, oh, I don't know, that's what you have, right? Yeah. Love yeah. <laughs> that's a one time cost. So good. <laughs> um, and then these are the 
traditional library um, stuff. Stuff that um, gets and that's included together. in the fourteen four. That is um, included in this. Yes. Yep. One? Well, in the in the twenty two yeah. one fifty. Yes. The robotics. Um, every I mean everything else I can kind of envision her using and the you know the does she I mean do we need to hire someone to to do the robotics or does she feel like <coughs> she can do that and she has time she's, frankly to do that she's offering and her next elective is oh, robotics she's okay got Great. the equipment out she's been on the phone with the yep. whoever she needs do to you be know on what the system phone she's using? no idea <laughs> no I do not <laughs> probably the the Lego one is the one. Yeah, that, yeah, they're and they're she's got their Mac, their older MacBook um, yeah. computers. Yeah, one I I did a um, I was not very good at it, which is part of why I'm asking this question. <laughs> but I led a robotics elective like years ago, um, and we got a lot of equipment donated mm -hmm. from Lego. So ju I, presumably she's looked into that already. Yeah, and we have equip we have some equipment. I think some of that is a subscription to use some of the stuff yeah I believe yeah um, so that might be a reoccurring cost depend and she's gonna try it out in this elective and see how it goes yeah and I think she's going to learn right alongside the children yeah be great it's complicated. as I discovered it's very complicated it was not yeah. my she's been doing a lot of visits set. to other schools as well right uh, watching um, other teachers do this stuff she's good yeah my sister teaches uh, maker space in Taiwan, like that's her new job that she got this past year. And there it's firm. It's middle school. Wow. And that's what they, they must do. do all that stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty intense. I mean, they have hardcore machinery and all yeah. this kind of stuff there too. But they, yeah. they, she started with robotics, and so it's really, it's, it's pretty it's amazing. Grown. Hmm. And the robotics teams and stuff that they have. Too, right. Oh yeah, the competition. Well, there are yeah. massive competitions. So it's pretty amazing. Yeah. 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 And, 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 and I just met with the. Uh, the Korea Technical Center directors, and they said that it really is the wave of the future, mm -hmm. and they're getting more competitive. Hartford yeah. Tech Center and the Springfield really Tech Center, for that mm -hmm. matter, they're, they're putting teams together and really trying to encourage kids yeah. to, to 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 get involved. So I mean, it really <laughs> is the future, right? To some degree, it's, it's yeah. awesome. like it'll lump it, you know, not. Yeah. So if we had to cut anything, she would, the laser cutter would be her choice. But, um. These are total excess costs, <coughs> gone down a little, <coughs> and these are services related um, and related expenses for students with 504 plans. Physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech, speech language, but it, not a special ed kid. It could be um, uh, services for the visually impaired. We have to pay for that um, equipment that goes along with that, and we have some of, some of, some of those needs. So. And this is K twelve. That's K twelve. Yeah. So that's all. So yeah. that includes anything that has to be provided at a right. receiving right. high school. Yep. Right. Okay. This is the food service. So this is um, an increase. This is the total dues and fees transfers. There is one thing that I know about um, more, and you can speak to the food service. The online research database. That is um, a request, also coming from Tina. And she's found in her short time in this role that our kids. Um, need to work on their research skills and note taking and summarizing and um, and we can use Google but um, a, an actual research base is recommended so kids can go on and um, find data that is accurate and mm -hmm. um, has been tested. Well that's so. a whole other level of like education too of yeah. like what can you Google and what can you trust right. and what do, how do you mm -hmm. figure that out. Yeah. Um, so that includes yeah. like, um, uh, she told me today, uh, Encyclopedia Britannica would be part of that. And that is, because um, what I found working with some of the kids on their passion projects, they're Googling and they, they're they not e able to read what's in front of them. It's yeah. above their reading they're level. Reading. And so yeah. this would, uh, this would um, allow some of things to be read to them. Yeah. It would, <laughs> and there are different levels, so. Yeah. Do you want to go back to food services for a minute, just so we don't have to redo? Yeah, this? it's right here. It's included Afterwards. in this. Oh, it's in that. It's Thirty-eight. One. Okay, good. Yeah. And this is what's nice about doing budgets. And Craig and Ed and I have looked at this many, many times, because you remember it was really sort of an ad hoc affair of putting a budget together mm -hmm. last year. So th these numbers, I think, are a little more accurate and <laughs> based so. on a lot of yeah. what, <laughs> what Craig has ordered, and which is why also the increase isn't just by bringing 
Windsor on board. It's also because we're you know we're figuring some actual costs and yeah, like what it costs to buy a cow. Cost. And, yeah. mm-hmm. But the other thing too is we haven't really factored in what I think is going to be an increase, especially for Heartland revenues. I mean, I think you're mm-hmm. you know you've, yeah. you've really you're up fifteen percent. Anyhow, staff is buying food, which is good. But the last time we ran this, it even got a little better for Heartland because if you yeah. notice. Uh, Christine has 38, 821 increase. And but you if you go down to the very oh, bottom, it's really 2972. Oh, nice. So, you know, and again, that could go down with those revenues. And that's and with increasing a whole staff person. Exactly. That's increasing, wow. putting a whole staff person in as an assistant. Mm-hmm. And it also doesn't, and this is where I think we're really potentially, if Craig's New vision is what person? I think Craig's vision is, it doesn't include it, it. It's just what Windsor's serving now, so it doesn't increase. I'm sure, much like he did at Hartman, mm. much like he's done at Westfield, he's going to increase in. participation mm. at Windsor too. Mm-hmm. So this is like a worst case scenario, you know, that that you're looking at a very conservative budget, and, uh, and I'm we're sure Windsor's really happy. They actually get down <coughs> a thousand, but we're going to see that extra hire at the SU. It'll be an SU hire, SU hire, right? Yeah. And, and obviously, we'll have a committee like we did last time, and Craig will put out advertisements, and we'll. He's he's got he's got some thoughts about s- some current staff. When would we get the commitment from a Scutney? Uh, I'm forward. I'm pushing for that. They have a meeting on December fifth. I'm pushing for so we'll know soon, real soon. They had their preliminary discussion the other night. They just had a couple of uh, other more financial questions. Conceptually, they are on board, and they're excited about it. So so because I remember Nikki said. I want them to be excited about it. So yeah, I, I, I watched think it's they they're, they're they're not like tripping over the uh, getting uh, the unionized. No, I think when they realized, you know, I mean, it's going to cost them some money. You can see they they have the biggest increase, mm-hmm. but most of that is is the benefits for those employees, yeah, right? Yeah. But I think they really bought into the fact that you know it's about mm-hmm. equity of opportunity and the fact that we've got. You know, in that building, we've got support staff that have benefits, and then you've got this kitchen crew that doesn't mm. have benefits. The other thing, too, is they'll be able to, I think, you know, they, they could hire some of the folks that are there now, but they don't have to. So they, they, they can mm. they can open it up and maybe There's with no a little... Weird contract. Wasn't there some weird contract thing that you couldn't hire? It was the there. management. We can't, like, we can't take oh. Anton and make him our assistant, okay. unfortunately, because he's pretty good at it. He stepped up, you know? <laughs> I mean, remember, a lot of what we based our decisions on was pre-Anton, right? Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, but, yeah. but, but, and he did start to... Sure, sure. Bit, but, but we can't possibly. touch management, but we could touch their employees. And by the way, I saw Bill, who who owns Cafe Services, and you know, you've all met Bill and, and uh, Chris, and 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 because they were at the Vermont School Boards Association. Uh, did you go? No. no. And uh, and they, they, they sort of know this is coming. They said, <coughs> they said you locked out. You you they, they know Craig because Craig worked for. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple of other, they didn't, he, he's never worked for them. But no, he's worked for other But they're well aware of him, and they've, mm-hmm. as a matter of fact, they sort of insinuated they tried to lure Get him into their, yeah. into their company a few years ago. And they said, you got lucky, you know, and, and hopefully he'll stay with you. And we said that right along, right? If we find the right person, mm-hmm. then, th- then there we go, you know, and I, I just, we just need to take good care of Craig. And this does include, because w- we sort of lowballed Craig last year. It includes a, a, a reasonable salary increase for Craig. What, it, Weathers, it, were Weathersfield's revenues just so good that they're that they're not going to have a? No, actually, with Weathersfield, what they benefit yeah. from yeah, they make is out. going. So they're making out. <laughs> right. They are. It, it is going with uh, the equalized. Pu- we felt that was the best way if all three participate to use the equalized pupil. Mm. Whereas we just use pupil count in the building <coughs> this time. So when you use equalized pupil, if you notice, uh, they go down to 23%, you go up to 32%, <laughs> and Windsor hangs at about 43%. But that's how we split all everything we do across the SU, we do it by equalized pupil, essentially. This right? feels a little different to me, though, because there are revenues involved. Right, exactly. I, I, I would... Um, we Don't we keep our revenue, though? You do keep your yeah, revenue. I would raise... Which offsets, which is why... Yeah, so you do keep your own keep revenue. The because there's still a, there's like still a Heartland fund, right. there's a Weathersfield fund. Mm-hmm. Remember, this is only the amount that you're subsidizing the program, right? Right. Uh, so, But that's what worries me. Are we subsidizing yeah. other schools? Mm-hmm. No, have. because your revenue comes back. Beth is absolutely right. Your revenue comes back. back. Matter of fact, we just, coming. matter of fact, all of the, all, like the portrait of the graduate work that Craig's doing, just because you have the, the heaviest load right now, the last two, We've taken that revenue <coughs> right, from Windsor and from Weathersfield, and we've put it in the Heartland Food Fund. So you're actually gaining 
some revenue from specialized catering. We're gonna have to figure that out as we go forward. You know what I mean? Yeah. When we do the specialized catering, what that looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is a com- this is a complicated, complicated so it's a It is complicated. It's, yeah, this it feels different to me than special ed or yeah, it is any of some of the other things that we do. But that's just to I raise mean, that. I can, I, can, I can see the equalized pupil every day in the running of the central office, <coughs> even when a lot of Heartland and Weathersfield students are at high schools. Right. Because of the your responsibilities, everyone in your office, for those students. <coughs> I need more convincing how that transfers to food feeding, service, feeding kids every day, because we're not feeding high school students. Exactly. Mm. That's that's exactly what I was just thinking. Well, and Windsor has five staff, so we'd be paying. That's what this is: is us paying for one of their staff members. Yeah. I think that's what that is, because this increase for them doesn't make sense if they have to hire five staff members. And it could be that it, that in the long run that it makes sense. I just, right. I, I'm, I mean, and I hear that you want to keep, you know, us all, we need to all work together. And Equalized People has worked well and yeah. We're not we're not tracking sort of actual, went that actual, way. actual actual S uh, excuse me sped yeah. spending. We're doing right. that by people as people, people. people. And for, that's for a good out reason. Of high schools too. Like yes, yeah. right. and there's yeah. really good reasons for that. It keeps us from not <coughs> having names on a board. Mm-hmm. And the the, the other <coughs> the other way to do this, you know, because we Craig and I did talk about this with Ed, is. But the, this problem is associated with this. This is going to sound good up front, but is that you only split the cost of the director and the and the um, assistant. assistant and the assistant, right? Um, and then everything else is yours. And then everything else is sort of locally, sort of locally funded, right? The problem with that, from Craig's perspective is that he feels he's done a lot better on buying yeah, when he yeah. buys across yeah. the yeah. 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 So the fruit, running, the meat. You know, somebody runs out in one school to right. take that shipment to yeah. bring it over Absolutely. to Heartland. Which is what he's, what he's, yeah. what he, right. what he's done. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's yeah. not as... I, I, yeah. I understand what you're saying. It, 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 but maybe we could <coughs> flesh it out better. Maybe it could be done more on number of kids in the building, right? Which fact yeah, is out the high school. That seems part, to make that's sense. That's a possibility. Yeah. That seems to make more yeah. sense. Let me yeah, let me let me, let me run it that way and then yeah. I mean we're not you know obviously it's in your budget but we don't have to make that mm-hmm. right. heavy decision tonight. I'll run it and get back to you with those numbers, it? okay? Yeah that would be helpful and because we'll it, it's a, it doesn't I mean, feel I just right that we're increasing by thirty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. Right. Sorry thirty uh, yeah thirty thousand yeah. dollars. Yep. When yeah. we're not changing anything. Yeah. I mean, we're do changing we feel, a little bit. Do, are we, get, we do not need any more staff in our kitchen. I was wondering that. We have yeah. a, we well, have a you, part-time. You actually have a part-time. I've person. heard that it's shared Weathers between Field. Weathersfield yeah, and Heartland. Right. He goes back and forth yeah. some. He's mostly here. He's typically here when who? Craig is in Weathersfield. Like, I think that's the swap. Right. Because Craig is, is in both places. Um, right. And so his name is... Um, and like on Thanksgiving, like Wednesday... <laughs> Last week. G. I met him. G. Marie? <laughs> no, yeah. the yeah. assistant. He's super Dan? nice. No. Yeah. It begins with G. I think no. it begins with G. Gary. Oh, really? It's not Gary. Greg. I thought no. it was Dan. I thought it was Dan. It's, 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 it's not George. Dan. It's not a common name. No. It's not okay. Gavin. But anyway. No. G- Gary. Uh, G- Gino. Uh, no. no he's, I, he's here typically yeah. when Craig is he's not. He's good at what he... He's good. Yeah. He's been, he was a good hire. And he's flexible. He'll yeah. go anywhere we ask him to go. That's and he comes in for just a cool. couple hours a day. And yeah. that's needed, for sure. Yeah. Like that Basically, is definitely yeah, needed. about three, I think. I mean, Christina and I, even with him there, have gone back sometimes. So much fun. I love it. So, depending on the day, like pizza day, you got the yeah. line going well, if you're out enjoying the door, it. You don't have somebody there, like, helping I out. I have been so hearing so about the principal sightings and the... In the cafeteria. <laughs> in the cafeteria. Oh, my God. They're like, you got to talk up this... Kale, I'm like, you got it. Yeah. Oh, do you want to kale. try this? It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no. I'm like, yes, you do. <laughs> Vermont <laughs> children know from kale. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I will tell you this on Wednesday, right, you're going to have your Thanksgiving feast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's going to look very much like it was at Weathersfield last mm-hmm. week. They did this earlier. Yep. You need to come and see. I mean, I know you've already eaten here, 
Yeah, no, no, no. Like, it was incredible what was laid out. And, oh and my gosh, he's going to collapse And the community after dinner's on Monday. And, 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 and tomorrow's Monday. portrait also, of a graduate. He's cooking for that. Yeah. And he's cooking. So can, oh my gosh. So should we just put a call out to Craig if he wants extra hands? Again? Sure, he would like that. Oh, he sure. would love that. For, the cat, like, for the community. For the community. For the community. He, he, there were like eight turkeys he was getting ready today. I know. We're seasoning and them. He's <laughs> using real turkey. We roast yeah. them overnight. Yeah. It's crazy. Fantastic. But it's so, wow. and I, I'll tell you, Weathersfield yeah, was packed and everybody yeah, loved it. They'll, they'll never go back. You know what yeah. I mean? They, they yeah, just yeah. love what yeah. they've seen. Oh, he's which is great. great. But we can run those numbers that way. But in, in the perfect world, you know, what I would do is I would have everybody be SU employees. Do you know what I mean? And then mm -hmm, I would parcel yeah. it out, and then we just run that SU budget. But we're still sort of hybrid right now, so I understand yeah. why it's confusing. So all the food service yeah, staff so are still SU employees? Like no. Devin? No, so this they're, just they're includes... They're Heartland employees. They're Heartland. Okay. They're Heartland. Yeah. okay, so this increase, I was thinking it included Windsor as employees, but it doesn't. No, it Windsor doesn't. keeps their Wins, employees. Windsor is eating their employees in their budget. Right, and so this is the increase in food I and staff I think it's food, equipment, required. staff. Yeah, yep. that, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then yeah. that makes no, no. Okay. Windsor will keep there because there'll, there'll be three separate. Again, in the perfect world, I kind of put it all together. But I know it's I, you know, I think we need to be hybrid for a while while we yeah. watch this. But, yep. but really, I think the question is, how are we splitting that final cost yeah. of all this stuff, the food, the, mm -hmm. you know? Right. And, and, and I'll run that with see if it makes a big difference if we go by student count versus okay. well, equalized yeah. pupils. But no, you're not paying for Windsor's away. employees. Yeah. Okay, that's They're what I was Windsor's trying to budget. figure out. No. I was like, that would be way What's too little. What's non-technology repair slash MA? Because that's going up to twenty thousand dollars from twelve hundred. Repair yeah. of and kitchen you know equipment. What? That's a good question. I, I could ask. Non-technology repair. Do you want to circle that one? Yeah, I'll circle that. One. That's the only thing that's made that up. I have no idea. Yeah. I know, but otherwise, you did a good job. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah, see food's it. going down. <laughs> oh, yeah, non-technology. Food. food local. And Craig um, offered well, to be here tonight, but I said, I'd like well, to point local out is that going out. His, oh, that's interesting, and that's going his, down. Well, I see. He put in a oh, new yeah. line of uh, purchasing of local food, and that's uh, that's 50000 that he's still yeah. designating for that. Well, see, is, that's but he's taking 43, from, right? Yeah. Yeah. Off. Yeah. But well, he's not even increases. I mean, it's also just putting his, he's putting in a budget line. Like, this is huge in the sense of, like, he's putting in a budget line his commitment, or the program's commitment. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Just spending mm -hmm. all of that. $50,000 exactly. into our local economy. Exactly. Like, that's, that's just that's 20% great. of the budget. Like, that's <laughs> right. exciting. Yeah, that's that's right. really awesome. cool, actually. Yeah. That's, right. a, that's, so that's, that's a, something to, like, that's something to share with a reporter. To share with the community or with a yeah. reporter. Right? Yeah. Seriously, yeah. I mean, that, there's a really interesting story there, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's, like, hyper-local. Yeah. Not necessarily. Like, so he might he might buy like it's it's, it's a hyper local it, though, right? Yeah, I mean it could be you know Guy Crosby's cow, yeah. and um, you know and local some local veggies and stuff from Deep Meadow yeah. and things like that. But it could be um, if he can get a relationship with a food hub, mm -hmm. he could be buying a little more regional, I guess. So he could be buying you know more stuff that's you know coming maybe down from you know down from Brattleboro, you know north where like Food Connects is, and then up this way. I'm just so, um, but. But, d but, but not, not California cares. But food, <laughs> food would be the Reinhardt stuff. The, the food, food line. The food, right, line, the food line. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of right. So Reinhardt's not necessarily all California stuff. No, That's right. What I'm to no, say. and yeah. it's also like, like food like in there too. Right. He'll they buy, also they buy regionally. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, well, so. yeah they're not going to yeah. go buy you know California. Great. You know uh, apples. You know, like it's not. It's more economical yeah. to be buying that kind of stuff here. But, but he like also has all his food, the, yeah. you know, flour. Yeah, I mean, he also has his commodity flour. foods and stuff that he's able to spend, and I don't think that's probably yeah. it. Cool. Has anybody had the pizza since they started making it? Yeah. You tried it? Brittany, it's, I have. It's outrageous. It's so try it. It's it is outrageous. I mean, what did I, you have, the chicken barbecue ranch? I had the chicken barbecue. Uh, it was, yeah, it was last Friday, Buffalo, right? Buffalo. Yeah. It was outrageous. I, w I went in and I just said to the my... The crust is so good. Oh, it's crazy. For the Wednesday... It's great. To, to come and eat with the kids. Is it okay? Like, can grandparents come too? And, okay, I that's so, like yeah. anyone. They did one in when we invited the whole community. Yes, they yeah. did one in they RSVP, an RSVP to, okay. so they know how much to cook. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah. And you're inviting your school community Wednesday, right? Yeah. Are parents coming too? They, Linda's they keeping track. Right. She's yeah. got, yeah. yeah. But the community meal on Monday, you don't need to RSVP for. No. But we should no. probably get that out more. We, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's serve. It's in my calendar. We've been blasting it. 
Yeah. But where else should we put it? I don't know. I just maybe you can put it in the town on the listserv. Yeah, it's on the listserv. It is. Okay. Yeah. It is. But com- since it's coming up, it would be good to have it, you know. We'll I've put seen it on the show on yeah. Thursday or Friday when people are thinking about the avoiding noise. We could have a little bit of 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 we don't have any board meetings. Yeah, huh? No, percentages what? on the 18th. Uh, no, we have a community <laughs> dinner. I'm, I mean, just <laughs> we're well filled. It's like tonight's think, the 18th. Oh, the 25th. Yeah. Here tonight. No, mainly because um, <laughs> if you change to the 21st, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, I have a question yeah. about yeah. food. Right. Sorry. Like is there any thought or consideration around was, summer meals? Is it good for the school? Yes. <laughs> I mean, we haven't obviously started the official planning. We need to start in January. Yeah, yeah. and Craig's yeah. interested. It's in oh, totally. trying to get that going. Yeah. Well, we have some. So it's, it's winter. Winter. now that we're over fifty percent, we can qualify yeah. to offer no, summer cool. meals yeah, you could have, um, yeah. at various sites in the but community. It doesn't have to be at the school. Like you could have it at library during like like book time or whatever. And um, it's just a free lunch from birth to 18. Anyone can come and get it. Oh, I are we that so at the Windsor Rec. We yes, have um, to be 50%. Yeah. Percent. We're at 47 once oh, really? the direct yeah. serves. Yeah, the direct. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. not direct certification. <coughs> it's just free and reduced. No, no. We were at we were at 50 and then. Yeah, that's fine. If we were at 50 to at some point of the year. Oh, okay. Yeah. It doesn't have to be current. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just okay. some point of the year. Oh, so we I believe we were. We dropped, which is great. But we're at 47 something yeah um because it's a time it's a date and time and the direct serves go off direct i'm learning Mm -hmm. they have to recertify at a certain time yeah and so direct certification is if like you're on snap right Mm -hmm. um, Right. you're classified as homeless or foster or whatever it's a direct meaning you don't have to fill out the form it's directly certified in so September, that looping like right. it's different times of year. Yes. people come in on and off the list. Yes. Yes. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's another thing that, like, if you can, whoever's looking at that list, I was just actually in a meeting today talking about how to examine your direct certification list really closely, because you could be missing. Like sometimes you'll know the people say they all the time will see one sibling on the list mm, and miss and the, the other others. two or yeah. something like that, mm. and that can really affect yeah. your rates. Yep. And then you're mm-hmm. missing a whole bunch of. Um, mm. uh, other benefits from the school right. and stuff like that. <coughs> um, it was interesting. Hmm. So if you have any other questions when you look at this, just shoot them to me by okay. email and I'll, I'll get back to you. Okay. okay. Um, here's, our, here's what our tuition is looking like with our preliminary school choices. It's dropped. Yeah, that's a huge drop. That's a good drop. Well, we're yeah. 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 ten less kids makes a difference. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's <laughs> a good drop. <laughs> and where they're going, so. Wait a minute, where's FY21? F- Sorry. Oh F- gosh, that should be one. that's FY twenty one. I'll fix it later. Okay. Ah, now what did I now do? Now what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I went too far. I think it's the next to last. I would tell you, as a new principal, not to embarrass her, but she has a better hand on her budget than. And, and I know the cameras are running with any of the other administrators. <laughs> and I'm trying, I'm going to use her presentation as but a... But fix that first. Well, fix that first. <laughs> I'll do it after. As a model because... I've been taking you know, notes. It's so it's easy to it understand. Looks, yeah, it has to be ownership. I've never really understood it this instantly before. This is great. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. It really it works. works. This is ours with Ed. <laughs> me to some degree. Good job. Because it's worth it. Because we're not going to do hours later. I know. You put it sometimes. Yeah. 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 And I, he felt so confident in what she knew that he didn't even feel I said, he Ed, well, how are we going to do this? He's like, you got it. <laughs> I said, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> okay, <laughs> got it. Which meant I had to put it together, but whatever. <laughs> he liked that part. Yeah, he did. <clears throat> he had his yesterday off. This is what I did. <laughs> All right, so there we are, a grand total. Which is an increase of, which I can tell you because I have notes on it, 127 thousand. I, I don't know if the do food. A grand review with like I should like. Sh- <laughs> yeah, I, I could. <laughs> um, in, that is a 1.48 increase on expenditures. That obviously doesn't affect the CLA. Correct. Common level of appraisal. Well, the tax rate. The tax rate, but that's where wow. we're at. So, and that is including that extra staff position. It is. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I think as we discussed, we can also, we can kind of take out the SRO position. And, I mean, just as we talk about this and say, this is something that 
we are doing because it's not we because we have to. In other places yeah. in the town budget and the whole community Can decided that, that right. we should, could do this here. So, yeah. you know, that's really it's the other day. only about 100,000 or they under 100,000 right, if you think about they're it. Not, yes. They're not done petitioning the select board to do something on policing yeah. in general. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. they said if we had that, right. then we wouldn't need to. Right. If we right. contracted with Windsor as a town, we wouldn't need this extra amount of money exactly in a budget. Or if we did, we'd be supplementing. So, so they, they haven't forgotten that. Yeah, they've been know. very responsive. And um, um, no, no, the the, the, SRO, Windsor. the Windsor. I mean, the chief has come to check in to see how things are going. It's great. Yeah, it's been it's been a good like good start. We do have a meeting. December 3rd, is that what we scheduled? I need to send out oh a reminder yeah. just with to the, check oh, in on the how we're doing. Oh, that the committee. was that check in with the committee. I will send an email reminder. Oh, yeah. And, you know, honestly, we don't let students meet individually with Officer Paul unless their parents are in. Or actually, permission. they've asked, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. everyone we've yeah. had has asked. Yeah. <laughs> It's not yeah. even that you're asking them. They're asking. They're you. asking us, um, <laughs> and he and he handles it really well. Yeah. Um, he's very, uh, he's kind about it, but he's, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, and shares his own experiences as a as a kid, yeah. which helps relate. Um, so we've been really impressed with him so far. And that is the end of the budget presentation. Thank you. It stays Thank this you. Way and you're going to send that to us? Yeah. I'm going to share it with you, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're very well. It's a pleasant, 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 pleasant surprise, actually. Yeah. 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 It, it seemed an, a simple way to share it or show it without... I mean, in the past, I've shown, like, elementary, secondary, and it gets very muddy when you move people around yeah. and people ask questions about it, so this seems very this, this cut and dry. very clear, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Are there any questions or things you're wondering about that? David, David, is this just the food? Change in food for next year? That's yeah. just Diane, the food budget for next year, okay. including the food they'd need to buy for Windsor. Brittany, would okay. you like this? It's all that centralized oh, yeah. stuff, shared stuff. All right. I I have that, a small question budget. around. Yeah, if you have questions, but all right. But Windsor's goes up substantially because they're taking on the benefits of all those employee salary and benefits. Yeah. The five hundred four, the five hundred four stuff we were talking about before. Yeah. How many five hundred fours does the school <laughs> have? Well, yeah. we just <laughs> <laughs> we just talked we about had, that today. We have, uh, let's say, I can unplug it. It's look. not going to be exactly. Uh, if you want, I need to look it up. Yeah, it's going to be like twelve. That are on currently, and then we have ten in the in the pipeline to be written. Yeah. At this point, it's not exactly. twelve kids twelve that are currently yeah twelve five hundred fours that are currently active. Oh, okay. And we have ten new referrals. And then, yeah. Right across the whole school. Okay. So by the end, when Gene is done, and you know we're encouraging him to train our uh, other guidance counselor to help with it because it is a process um, some schools have a 504 coordinator that's separate you know it's not the guidance counselor but um, Gene does it for us he does it very thoroughly sometimes it takes him a while because he is he's very thorough about it gets feedback from all the teachers meets with the special educators if that's appropriate um, meets with the parents so he's um, He's feeling a little overwhelmed right now with that and doing his other, you know, per, um, his other responsibilities for his job. So. Well, I noticed him. the budget line was for like 25000 Yeah. thousand ish <coughs> Yeah. What are some of the things that go into that? So that's consultants. Students that are on 504s that need, um, yeah, consult we have a contract with the, um, uh, I'm going to get it wrong, the visually impaired. Visual impaired, they come in and they'll mm -hmm. help us make sure we're meeting the needs of children that have visual impairments. Um, that sometimes means equipment as well, mm -hmm. so that um, kids can see it. Sometimes it's speech, OT, PT, those kinds of services. So we've um, budgeted based on the kids that we know need some additional 
services Great. or equipment. Thank you. Yeah. That was it. Was I'm it. just yeah. interested in <laughs> a I think we got a number to keep no. an eye on because I know the town will recognize it, right? I mean, when we look at your enrollment numbers, right? I mean, because, yeah. you know, you've, you've been as high in the last five years as 300 and 30 kids, right? And, and now we're coming down. 274. So you, you're, you're facing yeah. the same demographic mm -hmm. challenges that every other mm -hmm. town and yeah. probably the upper valley is facing mm -hmm. right yeah. now. But. And I'm also, we were really high last year, um, and everybody yeah. fared with us. Yeah, um, did. And we're with the budget. Right. Yeah. yeah. And we're proposing yeah. to stay the same. So there, yeah, there is a, a I, I, I'm having a little bit of that as yeah. well. That you know, is there something we can, is there something we can do to kind of say, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. we understand that. Yeah, thank you. Um, and I think that what it comes down to is the personnel changes that we've discussed. Yeah, and just what impacts where those. the where and how and when. Yeah, right. and 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 if a decision has to be made, what what would the priority be? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess would be that I would from you know from you mm -hmm. two. I, that would be yeah. what I would want. It's a tough communication piece to to try to get over, across the fact that this is the trajectory, but with with less students, we're not we're plateauing right. at some place right. mm -hmm. less than like the highest possible right. extra right. expense. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's still this it comes across this. And, and the attentive taxpayer, which they most of them are in Heartland, you know, they're going to also notice that you. Have you do have that differential of ten high school, you know. Right. So that was a savings of hundred. Well, that's what I'm. Two hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean, so so when right. we come in with a one point four percent increase, you know, they. We have other savings. You have other savings <laughs> other places that right. we do. Yeah. We're sort of filling that yep. that hole, and that's not a criticism. And then going I, mean, over. I think it is what it is, and you're also, you know, you're also managing a, a different population than you managed five right. or ten years ago, you know, I mean, I think there's always that. But I think there's a balance there somehow. Mm -hmm. to but there's to no recognition that. from right. the state that we're right. dealing with a different... Oh, God, no. And I'm worried that we're going to hit up against the, um, the penalty, yeah, the spending the penalty. Yeah. yeah. Have we talked to about that? I don't think well, he people. has it. We don't know, know until we get the Until he gets that tax worksheet yeah. done. Mm -hmm. I don't think with that expenditure line you will, though. I mean, you'd need we a... We did last year. We did you go over it, or you... We were we came close. very we came we were close. pretty close. We, we, were, we were very close. slightly over, but then we offset. But wasn't with the what increase we a used. pretty substantial increase last year? It was. In it the was. Yes. Yeah. No, but we was. were able to offset. Like but but losing ten it's students. That's true. We're gonna mm -hmm. the the per pupil. You mean in terms of that per pupil? That per yeah. pupil yeah. is going to be. Um, yeah. We haven't figured that revenue yeah. side out yet. Okay. No, we can't do the math until the last second when the state gives us. That's always the way it works, sadly. What we need. Yeah, because in the perfect <coughs> world, the 1.4 percent increase overall in that big a budget is—it sounds right. reasonable, right? ostensibly <laughs> reasonable. But it does. You start factoring in all those other pieces. Yeah, I mean that, and, and I think that is why it's important to say, you know, 12.9 percent health care increase, yeah. and kind of put Break that over, out. put that over here. We have absolutely yep. no control over that. And the SRO position, I think, as we talk to the town, mm -hmm. we have to say this is something for the public safety of our yeah. school that we have to do, but we don't, we shouldn't be paying for this <laughs> um, out of the school budget. And I learned another thing today. The state, and I forget what the act was, but, but in 2015, passed a law that every new teacher you hire now, you pay a retirement surcharge. Did, 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 did you know that? I mean, it, 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 it started off at about $1,000 per teacher. Now it's up to $1,300. And by the way, that surcharge, so for anybody that was hired after 2015. It's just a bad day. Right, in, in, including, right? Well, I guess. You are, right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. So, so there's right. a surcharge, huh. you know, on Christine's retirement of, now it's up to almost $1,300, and that's annually. Is what it to discourage it? people from hiring new teachers? Or what's well, the point I th of that? I think the point yeah, from wow. the state level was, to recharge that the retirement. Oh, to recharge funds, the, oh I right? see. Okay. And so that's the way that's wow. the way they did it. But it's brand new yeah. since it's brand new. It's teachers. brand new. It's like it's brand new teachers. Anybody you've hired anybody you've hired since two thousand and fifteen. So but they don't have to be a brand new teacher. Like no. First year okay. teacher. You They're new, new to the district. Right. New to the district. I mean So, yeah. so we were looking at the names, you know, Heartland had four or five. Yeah. This year you've got about 
10 that are getting that extra so you pay that surcharge. The state, the SU and that goes that to the, the state, state to the state retirement fund every year it just, just showed me that year. today i said wow. really and then we went to look at the act we went to look at the huh. law yeah. and sure enough it's it's it, it's one of those kind of things that probably got passed <laughs> as, as a, at a, at, you know the last minute in a budget bill or something and just to hit you a little bit harder i know <laughs> so that's that reflected in our this budget? assessment is that in He's here? He's got it in that okay. budget. He said, yeah, make sure you tell him it's in that budget if it comes wow. up tonight. Not yes. that you would bring it up. Wow. But I thought I should because yeah. it turned out to be, I mean, I should have brought the number with me, but it's like $60,000 or something yeah. total for this year. Wow. Right? Or close for the to that. SU. 40, for the SU. For the, maybe that was the SU. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be the SU. Might have been across Still. the SU. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Still. Still a good chunk of money. Yeah. But it's also an incentive maybe not to. Try to keep his staff. Yeah. I don't know what the yeah. story is, well, but like yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't seem right, does it? No, no, it doesn't no. seem right. right. It's right. It's huh? Yeah. So does the um, the food budget on our side for next year do anything to um, keep? What what can we do to so that there isn't um, students don't um, find themselves owing this? this lunch program money. What can we do about yeah. that? Yeah, I mean, I, I want to, there, I would rather us budget now. There's a lot of things we could do. Rather than, uh, you mean for the debt, I, for if there is any debt. You know, some kind of a fund. Right. Well, we did get, we did have a donation t actually today. Really? Mm -hmm. What? That comes up almost this, annually, this doesn't it? This year, around this time, we have a community member that comes in and pays off the lunch debt. Today. That's, so That's awesome. great, huh? That's oh, so yeah. sweet. Merry Christmas. I know. And I, it's anonymous. I don't even know who it is. The person will That's I have sweet. no idea. But That's I think there's there sweet. is some things that we can put into yeah. play to help with that. Um, making sure that you know it goes out regularly <coughs> that people can apply for those for the free yep, and reduced meal at any time if they have any change of income. Mm -hmm. You can always apply. Um, you know, having at different events making sure there's signage of saying, hey, do you need assistance to sign up? The the, the form, it can be daunting. Um, mm -hmm. It's not super easy. So to have, and help. anyone can help families fill it out. It's just once it's they're certified, like that right. is like sacred, you don't know right. that. But like the guidance counselors and things like that can be can working with families. Fill it out, right? So I yeah. think even just getting more staff understanding that that How to do it can be done and it's also like in a understanding too that this is connected to title one funding and all this other stuff so mm -hmm. even if their kid never eats a meal here it's benefiting the school right so right. let's help you figure it out even yeah. though it might be a shot to your pride that's um, in the letter that i send with the yes. application at the beginning of the year but we could certainly send that out periodically we mm -hmm. haven't done that and also just yeah i think just making staff aware mm -hmm. like and if there's if there's a flag that you're thinking there is a kid that Hmm, something's up there. Maybe they really need to be on this. Yeah. Is there a way to refer that to guidance to dig into it a little bit with the yeah. family and maybe try to get yeah. just to have that awareness more? Okay. Some schools yeah. just serve universal meals. Scott. That's yeah. the other thing. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's my next, <laughs> next question. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, why, with our, why, why and there's there's a couple assisting? different ways to become eligible. Mm -hmm. And with participation rates so high. Mm -hmm. You basically can get in and get certified with your participants. So say we're at, we're serving 70% of the kids every lunch. For the next four years, you get certified and you get paid. You get reimbursed from the federal government at that 70% rate. Hmm. That means the school is paying 30%, or the, the, the would be paying that 30% yep. difference to cover it all. Um, so if you did universal meals. If you did universal meals, and you can hmm. do universal breakfast and lunch that way. Um, and so it's looking at the budget and saying, well, what... What if our mean? school meals are so awesome, 80% of the kids are eating them already, mm -hmm. then let's really look and see what that universal meal option looks like mm -hmm. because maybe that price difference yeah, is really that not that, that big of a deal with yeah. the, what we're yeah. paying and subsidizing already. Yeah. It may be fairly close, but we'd have to dig into that a little. Yeah. It, I mean, it might be worth yeah, it might be while worth for the board it. to look at those numbers and kind yeah. of have yeah, a conversation sure. about <clears throat> um, it certainly seems to be something that in terms of our values, we mm -hmm. would support doing so. Are we mm. at that percentage with kids eating? Are they doing well, it? Well, we're, we're, I think last time we looked at it was like 200 lunches a day. We'd have to look at those we're numbers. Like yeah. We're usually yeah. it's close good. to 60, 70 percent. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, we're up there. That's huge. Yeah. And that's, that's the students only. Yeah. That's students only. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Employees yeah. in the building. Yeah. And employee count is up too, right? Yeah. 
It is. So, I mean, that's something I can certainly reach out to Hunger Free Vermont, and they can help pull the, together the data to make it sense to us. Mm. <coughs> that would be great to know. That would be. Because, it, the, I mean, the, the system that we have almost, well, it's been two years now, it just kind of, like, sets up parts of our community to, for, it's, as a big, it's a big challenge. And, and the, the and hope is, is that if, if it's really good food, like if we're getting served really good food, everybody wants to eat it. So it doesn't matter if you're free and reduced or your pay or whatever. And so that's a real, I, I'm happy with that fact that it's, you know, every kid wants to eat. And yeah. so it's, it's not just like, oh, well, it's just the free and reduced kids because the meals are huge. You know, like. Mm -hmm. And then so there's community support for the program right. across the board. Right. And mm -hmm. I think yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a it's a very, <coughs> I don't know what this anonymous gift is. And it, I can sort of remember what it was last year but and it's not in, it, in the these kind of numbers it, that that gift is not too big a piece no it's not but but it's still makes a kind difference of, it's family. still, still it kind of a yeah. so representative of like of perhaps the board not quite being in touch with the community mm -hmm. and so I don't that's what troubles me about that just I don't know we shouldn't be, we shouldn't have this system that almost relies on an annual debt gift. Or gift. <laughs> right. I mean, we're, we're not hearing our community in, 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 a, in a sense. But there's many reasons debt occurred. It's <clears> not <throat> just because I, they can't afford the meal. Mm -hmm. It's forgetful. It's being a test, yeah, right? Um, that happens. <laughs> but I mean, so that, that, that concerns me a little yeah. bit. About the gift, <coughs> the, the gift is subsidizing families. Who Let me clarify that we're going to go through the list good. and oh, good. Good. determine good. who gets <laughs> the debt wave. I'm so glad good. because yeah. that oh, that oh. concerned me a little yeah, bit that it might be paying, <coughs> you know, your debt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I know. I'm so I glad that sure you have told me yeah. that. Yes. <laughs> no, Linda and I are going to go through it and just. I'd love we to don't. see, and I don't know if Craig's talked about using a different system than mealtime. Uh, he has, he talked, has about, talked, he has about, talked that. about that because <laughs> they only give you one alert, and so really? if you get your one alert and you're like, oh, okay, I got to take care of that this week, and then two weeks go by, well, God, yeah, you're but in the hole. Better, you haven't gotten a note home. He's getting. He's trying to. Yeah, I have to. Trying to send out those. Yes, exactly. I am um, bright colors. Got yeah. to tell me. Green, yeah, yellow. Why the kids aren't so good at the back time thing? <laughs> That's a possibility. You may not be seeing the next. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, they've Check also the bottom of that. I've gotten several yeah. yeah. have been slips of paper. Yeah. He's been trying to send those yeah. notes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's yeah. How do those notes get applied? Like, is there some just as how what is it discreetly handled when you're telling a kid to tell their parents their pay up in the hole <laughs> my kid like holds it up at pickup and is like hey mom look you owe money you owe money but, but, but I think that I think, I think it's the, just I think given to the on the other the end it's they put in the cold <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how confidential yeah. it is but yeah. it's a good question Colin yeah. my guess is they probably are handed to the teacher and then the teacher puts them in the folder as long so as like they're not quiet. getting yelled at by the no, no there's no like the lunch lady or something the issue policy is not to hold a kid accountable at all you can't great yeah we um, feed everybody. The staff in the this year We've gotten away from the sun butter sandwiches. Much, <coughs> much more positive. And, great. you know, just the interactions with the kids are. It's great. Yeah, I've noticed the difference mm -hmm. at least. Yeah. Good. Absolutely. Yeah. It's been nice. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Let's go home. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go. So just to, to be to safe. To yeah. totally switch gears, one, one more thing. Um, back to the talk about the tech center and as it was relating in our conversation to. Makerspace and or robotics and the different library scene now. <clears throat> I don't, that's one thing that um, I can't remember this board has much of a connection to the tech center, but in with all the, you know, um, rising interest in um, tech um, education workforce development mm -hmm. in our state and in the and there's much emphasis on perhaps introducing that whole um, environment to in the middle school setting you know what because we don't have our high school we're not part of a high school so no one on this board ever as far as I know goes to a tech center mm. 
committee meeting, you know, because on a statewide basis, I mean, one of the discussions is, I mean, what part of what in what part of uh, instruction will, shall happen in a formal tech center setting, and what might happen at the high school? And I think there's there's actually I don't think it would be going on in a limb too far to say there's a little butting heads about that because yeah. folks in the tech center are kind of protective about the, what they the have program. done in the past yeah. and yeah. maybe what their future aspirations are, and and with declining enrollment. Um, kind of overlaying everything. High schools are more competitive about what they want to offer because when students leave the high school, then there's a different funding stream. Mm -hmm. And so I guess there's many questions here, Dave, but how, is there any way that someone from this board or this school can be a part of those tech center conversations? Or I've talked to Chris Garnjos before. He's the He's the, he's the Windsor, Omaha Scutney now, board representative the to, to the HH. Regional Advisory Board. Correct? Yeah, yeah. And I sit on that board too as oh, your representative, okay. so I'm there. <coughs> Good. Uh, Chris and I go <coughs> together, and I, I mean, the simple answer to your question is probably no, because you don't have a high school. Right? If you had a high school, okay. then you'd, you'd have a, you'd have one vote on that Regional and Advisory Board. And this is board. the Hartford Tech. This is the Hartford Tech, right. right. And so, yeah. Because that's our region, yeah. right? That's our region, yeah. So Chris and I go together. I technically, I guess, represent all of our schools. But yeah, well, I, I, I thought it was a board member, so I'm glad that, that you're yeah. there. No, I Because you, you do represent all of us. Yeah, so I go. Well, I would love to hear, like, what's the skills? Like, are we prepping within this makerspace? Like, is it assumed that, you know, everyone will know how to do their laser cutter thing by the time they get to high school? And right. maybe that is a priority. Right. Or, like, mm -hmm. is there some way to... And I don't know if yeah. that's happening at the tech or at the regular high school. Well, both you know, probably, yeah, but that's a good sense. question, right, yeah. And I know that there are standards and, yeah. I'm just thinking of the investments that we're making yeah. here yeah. to yeah. carry over. Yeah. The other thing you don't get a chance to do, which I know this is part of your lament sometimes, Scott, because I, I hear you in this, but like, for example, there are some very neat, because uh, uh, the tech centers do capstone projects too, right? So mm -hmm. I know that there are Heartland kids who go to that tech center, right, <coughs> that you will never, you know what I mean? You'll never know what they're doing, what they're working on. You know, they don't, you, you won't see those presentations. I mean, I do, because I go in your stead, and Chris does as, a, as sort of the Mount Scutney rep or the high school rep. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty fascinating. And I, and, I, and I can ask a few more questions about, because I know this came up really heavy, this robotics <coughs> piece the other day, because I know that that's a real emphasis at both I keep saying both Springfield and Hartford, but I go just to the Hartford one. And, and they want, they do want to encourage that. And there's a big push right now, I don't know if you know this or not, and the legislature is going to even push it further about seven, reaching down into seventh and eighth grade and pulling them a little bit more into, into those programs, into those programs oh, somehow. Good. So That'd I don't know awesome. what that'll look like, but. Yeah. It's something like, a, car like a, a, a career exploration, right. almost like. Actually, it is. That's starts exactly. Starts to ruffle my feathers a little bit, sort of like, um, okay, seventh grader, you know, get on this <coughs> the tracks, career path. Yeah, path. that that yeah, concerns me a little yeah, bit too. Yeah. So yeah. you know, what, I, I was my I didn't have experience yeah. that. Like, so I they did that in my middle school, in that we had several weeks of like we went of to drafting, piece, we went to right. woodworking, we went to metals class, we mm -hmm. went to mechanics. And we did all the little tech things was it that you could thing? choose from when you get to high school. And it was great. Did it seem like a good thing? I liked it, yeah. 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 That's sort of the... the, the but, it, I mean, I never would have known about, about it that, otherwise. No. Like, it right. was just... Yeah, I didn't do any of them in the long run. I wasn't gifted in the woodland. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> On the other hand, it's like... Um, it was neat. One of the things that we hear about sometimes, because well, this is the kind of school that we operate in this district, is that kids spend, students in middle school spend some time exploring high schools. Mm -hmm. And it gets to be a significant time away from their elementary school days. And, and it's more in the spring, really, is it? Uh, no, they're visiting now. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're shadowing now. Yeah. They're shadowing. So and some kids will shadow at one school, and some kids will shadow at five schools. Because right. Because they're just not and sure. So yeah. I'm just imagining, like, so I've heard that that, from the, teacher side that that can be significant so then, well, I bet. then if I was to imagine 
uh, everything that we've ever talked about here, then add a couple weeks at the tech center to explore mm -hmm. for seventh and eighth graders. Just mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like be a lot of time. Out of, yeah. They do go visit in eighth grade. Yeah. They spend a day, most of a day, at the tech center, just checking it out. Yeah. Um, well, I've gone. You've gone with them. It's pretty. It's a pretty awesome day, actually. Yeah. So just to just to see if, and and there are kids that, that are really interested and would go right now if they had the opportunity. Yeah. So um, we do have a couple of kids each year in the Navigator program, which is kind of the precursor to, to that. Um, oh, that's what they want to expand. The Navigator. Yeah. Navigator. So they go on Friday. They go on Fridays in the morning, and we fig every other Friday, and we take them in our van. We just figure out who's going to drive them and pick them up. So it's complicated sometimes, but it's worth it for them. And everybody Mr. goes, Howe or <laughs> Mr. Morris, or somebody that volunteers to go bring them up and bring them back. But. Okay, I think we should wrap I call up. this meeting to All right. Adjourn. Yeah. Um, Thank you, everybody. Second. Yeah. Okay, everybody in favor of adjourning. Aye. 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 Okay. okay. Don't take ninety-one just in case. Larry keeps texting me saying this. He's got three schools in the entire state now that have decided tonight to. So I think that should be my motivation. But I, I <laughs> really? Oh, no, no, no just delay. delay. Why would you call a delay now? I mean, I, wouldn't you wait till Three schools now? in the yeah. state. Yeah. All, the three 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 all the people do know, like exactly. to know in five. advance we, to arrange we like the, the child care. Call. Call. And that's, that's the, that's it's the, really that's the argument, I mean, right? No I child care intent. But then when you call the road commission, then those road commissioners type in the morning. Oh, no, we've got it all set. We're ahead of it. Sometimes it's like clear shot, right? the night before, yes. and sometimes it's not. This one's not so this clear. This one's not right? so clear. This Until we get outside, maybe it'll be clear right. when we get outside.